Hey guys, welcome to day 149 of my carnivore journey. This is going to be a real quick video because I'm about to go live here in a little bit. So I hope some of you will get to join me. If you have not seen my live now, I know that I said I'm going to go live for day 150, which is tomorrow. I'm going live for a different reason. So if you're watching this and you didn't see my live video tonight, uh, it's the one that's going to pretty much be titled like I need your help. And I don't want to go into any anything on that. I'm going to let you guys learn about that tonight. Or if you, again, if you missed it and you're watching this, go back and watch that video. Watch that live video. Okay, if you have to click on my live section, whatever it is, find that video that I just did. It's going to basically say something along the lines of, you know, I need your help. Okay, and watch that. Okay. You guys are, are going to want to watch that and, and support it. Trust me, you're going to want to watch it and support it. Like it, share it, all that good stuff. All right. As far as tonight uh, or today, I had meat soup. That's right. So it's okay. You guys remember I made that chuck roast the other day? Well, I took the other half and I also told you guys I had that like au jus, like the beef broth that was left over. Well, that's what it is. It's like I warmed up the the uh, the other half of the chuck roast, and I warmed up a big old you know cup of uh, or uh, the leftover bowl of broth, and combined them, and put it into one big ass bowl. So you're probably wondering, in the thumbnail or here, I'll just show you right here. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a big old bowl because I realized. I don't have any like big bowls. I have like small cup Tupperware containers and nothing that would facilitate that meat and that, you know, broth. Because if I were to put the meat in the broth, it would just float over the sides. You know, it was too small of a leftover container. So I had to use my big mixing bowl that I used to make my one pound burgers. So I used that. You know, right? Uh, so I'm going to have to give me some bowls, <laughs> some soup bowls or something. Anyways, guys, um, just wanted to say that I didn't eat all the meat. So um, I'm pretty full. Like, believe it or not, between the broth for lunch, I had two hard-boiled eggs. So I got to get a couple hard-boiled eggs. And But I'm just not real hungry. I'm excited for tonight. I had a bunch of broth. Um, and I probably had about half the meat. So I probably ate about a half a pound of meat and a few cups of broth and uh, two eggs. That's that's all I'm going to probably have tonight, guys. I'm super excited. Tomorrow's weigh-in. So can't wait for that weigh-in and measurements. And we're going to go live tomorrow uh, as well to talk about all of that. Meanwhile, now, as far as the live goes, yeah, it's going to be tough. I will see. We'll see how the live goes. I'm trying to do it tomorrow. I might wait till Thursday. We might go live on day 151 because now that I thought about it, I think I do have an appointment tomorrow night. So I may have to go live Thursday night. So guys, just pay attention. And, and you know, I'm going to go live usually anywhere from like 8 or 9 o'clock Eastern. So whatever time that is for you. Try to set your alarm and be there for me. Um, I appreciate it. If not, I, when you guys watch the replay and comment, it's just as good too. I still, I still appreciate you just the same. Um, today, feeling wise, felt pretty good. Um, took care of some things. So whenever you take care of certain things in your life, it just makes you feel better. Um, but all in all, like I said, pretty good day. Carnivore wise, um, just just a good another good day of carnivore. I just can't tell you how much I really enjoy this lifestyle. I mean, it's and and look real quick if you guys want a little bit of like advice because I know sometimes you don't want me just to give you updates. Sometimes you like a little advice. It's it's not it's it's kind of twofold on convenience, okay. It's not as convenient as sad diet when it comes to like if I'm out and about and I'm hungry, I can just swing into like McDonald's or Burger King, you know, fast food. 
I can just eat whatever. I can go into a gas station and get whatever. So, yes, if you go to McDonald's, you have to get, you have to order a la carte, right? You have to order the hamburgers a la carte. You can get them without a bun. So there is ways to do it, but again, it's just it's just not as convenient, right? Um, when you're at home, you pretty much always have to cook or have something prepped. So either you're you're prepping things, and then you, you can warm things up later or or snack on them out of the fridge, whatever, or you're cooking things. There, there's not a lot of like, it's not like TV dinners where you just throw them in the oven or like a frozen pizza or something. You can do those things, but you have to prep those. That's the thing with carnivore is you're the one that's pretty much always having to make sure that you're eating clean. And what I mean by clean, I mean like, I'm not talking like lion diet. I do mean spices. Like, I mean, like even a dirty carnivore. What I mean by clean is just that you're eating in the carnivore highway. A lot of things that you buy and bring home are not going to like that are ready made. They're not going to be good for you most of the time. So it's, and it's convenient in the sense that there's the food, the foods that you have are somewhat, um, I don't want to say limited because that makes you sound like that you're going to eat off a limited menu. You can eat the same four or five ingredients, but have multiple combinations of them. Okay. So you can have eggs different ways, eggs and meat, bacon and eggs, you know, all of them together, you know what I mean? There's there's different combinations. Anyways, but again, so the only rough thing is that you're always having to either prepare foods or cook foods. Um, and in this crazy life, when we're all working extra hard to pay the bills, it can be a little bit of a pain in the butt sometimes just to like if you have to hurry up and eat. So that's why I recommend and with this diet, you really have to think ahead and make sure you have things that you can do in a quick hurry. The other benefit is that if you need to, you can fast for 24 hours. So there's been some days where it's just not convenient at all to cook. I had nothing prepared. I'm like, you know what? I just won't eat today. And the 24 hour is not going to hurt you. You know, I just drank water, you know, and had coffee. But... In any case, guys, I hope that this video helps. And remember, check out the live. You're not going to want to miss this, guys. You need to watch this live. All right. We'll see you.